Drones, virtual reality, robots, lasers, artificial intelligence, 3D printing and scanning. How can all these new technologies help design the buildings of tomorrow? In search of answers, architects have teamed up with engineers and their findings have been shared at this exhibition here in the capital of Denmark. Hosted by the Danish Royal Academy of Fine Arts, the exhibition was organised around the work of 15 researchers who used the latest digital tools to explore new horizons in architectural design. Models were developed using materials such as clay, filaments, concrete or wood. Among the new ideas on show, structural platforms in carbon and glass fibres wound by robots able to generate complex, resilient, multifunctional geometries. The material is able to do more while being very small and spindly and tiny. Um, to give some numbers behind that, the effective strength of these materials is about five times that of a normal structural steel that you would find in a building now, while being about five times lighter. Other researchers have worked with elastic materials that can shape shift to produce and store energy in facades, thus providing a kind of environmentally friendly, energy efficient, soft robotic skin for future buildings. It's like a, um, a metal ruler. When you bend it, the energy is stored in the ruler. When you release it, it goes back. So you need to, with these systems, you need to spend energy only in one direction. Other kinetic systems, rigid body systems, always require that you spend energy to close, spend energy to open. This system has uh, the potential to store the energy in one direction and then uh, harvest and reuse it uh, for the way back. And how can we safely, accurately bend glue laminated timber to create new unexpected architectural spaces? Motion capture techniques and 3D and laser scanning technologies were used to examine new wooden geometries and morphologies. We can make very complex, very large, very robust buildings out of laminated and engineered timber. The problem is that because it is a live and biological material, uh, it has its own behaviors, things like spring back, and where the wood, when you bend it, it sometimes bends back. It reacts to uh, all the processing steps. Uh, so we need ways to keep track of this, because if you can't produce accurately what you want to, then it becomes very difficult and very expensive very quickly. So by introducing 3D scanning into the process, we can have a closer connection to what the material is actually doing while we process it. The exhibition was the fruit of a European research project aimed at linking simulation, materials and designs to imagine a future where more and more buildings will need to be built with fewer and fewer materials and in sustainable ways. Building smarter with less means uh, material optimization, it means we, we are clever about how we use materials and that we can build lighter. And lighter doesn't only mean less materials as in a smaller piece of wood, but also uh, lighter in forms of less transport, uh, less weight um, and less impact on our environment. And that's, uh, that's, these are just necessary paradigms for the future. Researchers say many of these solutions could be integrated into real buildings within five years.